Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we've got a very venomous leopard from Sub-Saharan Africa and Tropical Africa. Very widespread species of snake and it's the Mozambique Spitting Cobra, Naja Mozambica. This is a very incredible specimen, absolutely stunning. It was rescued by Nick Evans the day before we got here and he's held onto it so that I could get some footage and show you guys this amazing species of snake. So let me get the snake out and we'll start it off. So here we go guys, it's a Mozambique spitting cobra, an absolutely incredible species of snake found throughout sub-Saharan and subtropical Africa. It's a very widely distributed snake that occurs all the way from Tanzania down through Mozambique into South Africa, from the east of South Africa up through Zimbabwe, Botswana and into Namibia, north of Namibia and south of Angola. They're usually found in more moist, wet areas with high rainfall where they can get their favorite prey, which is frogs and amphibians. Although they are rather generalist feeders, feeding on anything from rodents to mice, to other snakes, as well as eggs, lizards, geckos, and then frogs and toads. They're an extremely venomous species of snake with a postsynaptic neurotoxin and a very, very strong cytotoxin. Getting bit by the snake is no joke, but most of the times, their first defense mechanism, as most snakes, is to slither away. Now they're very, very fast snakes, so they tend to get away quite quickly. The problem with Mozambique spitting cobras is they're very adaptable animals. So they're very often found in and around human habitations and in urban environments coming to look for frogs and toads. In rural environments, in rural areas, these snakes are encountered quite a lot. And in very hot Africa, a lot of people sleep with their doors open or their windows open. And these guys will slither in there at night looking for rats or mice, and that's when the problem occurs. So the reason that they're so deadly is not due to the intense toxicity of their venom, although it is very toxic, but deaths from this snake are very rare. There's very good polyvalent antivenom available for this species of snake. Now, the incredible adaptation that I was reading about these guys is that because they're front-fanged snakes, they can't actually independently move or direct their venom from their fangs. So they'll squeeze their venom glands, which at that point, the venom is squirted out at about 50 milliseconds, which is extraordinarily fast. But now in that moment, there's some form of neural processing, which was previously unrecorded in any snake or reptile, which then it's able to track the aggressor or the predator that's trying to harm it. And in the moment it sprays its venom, the snake can do cephalic oscillations, which is micro adjustments with its head or jaw to be able to, in the moment it's spraying, is able to slightly adjust, predict where the eyes of the target would be and able to land a direct hit from around 2 to 2.5 meters, which is absolutely incredible. The accuracy of these snakes is just mind blowing. After spitting, if their spitting doesn't work, they may sham death like the wrinkles, but they're not as much of the drama queen and tend to wake up a little bit quicker than that. Then thereafter, it's time to bite. They're not very quick to bite unless they're cornered or being held or subdued. So yeah, just like most snakes, you can see now she's just figuring me out and checking what I'm busy doing. You can see how visually responsive she is. So being a spitting cobra, Naja Mozambica, it's a true cobra species. There's also spitting cobras from Asia. Now, most people would think that they would have split when the continent split, that there would have just been a branching off of there, but they actually evolved in their own lines of spitting cobras, the Asian spitters and then the African spitters. The Asian spitters are far less accurate than these guys. And they're a little bit more of just general sprayers, whereas these guys are extremely accurate to about two to 2.5 meters. So they're very visual as well. They'll spit at whatever's moving in their vicinity. Generally what we're doing, how we're working with these cobras is with a hood like this, these black things attract their attention very, very well. So there's your quintessential hood of the cobra, the Mozambique spitting cobra. They can hood up to almost two thirds of their body length. Now you can see the beautiful apricot pinkish bands. 
usually one to three bands around its neck. They vary in coloration from olive green to tan browns to a little bit gray and with usually black edging on the scales. Now on the underside you can see it's also got this very salmon pink color, a pinkish apricot color. Absolutely beautiful snake, actually really beautiful spinning cobra. Probably one of the most beautiful after the red spitter. So now the difference between these guys and the wrinkles, the wrinkles tend to use a little bit of a propulsion technique or mechanism. It's a more of a primitive style of spitting, whereas these guys have already taken the next step and are able to spit from a stationary position, usually in a hooded stance, but they are able to spit directly from a lowered position as well. Reaching lengths of about 90 centimeters and up to about a meter in length, very large specimens are about 1.5 meters. And Nick Evans says that they've actually got specimens of about 1.7 meters in length which is an absolute beast for a Mozambique spitting cobra. They have quite a distinctive head, which kind of protrudes from its neck, and the bigger they get, the chunkier they get, so once they get to adult size, they're quite like wrinkles with a very chunky style body. They tend to bask during the day and become more active during the early evenings and early hours of the morning as well. So guys, if you like this video, please do hit the subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, and stay tuned for the next species of snake or reptile we found out here in South Africa. And remember to stand for what we stand on.